There's a lot of rules at the airport that people who aren't pilots might not know about, but I'm gonna go ahead and let you in on one little pilot secret. You gotta have your aviators on when you're at the airport or you won't get respected at all by anybody. Since we're coming here to do business today, I gotta look like I mean business. Monday, the uh, the twelfth. Today's an important day. The guy who is coming to buy uh, the airplane from Arizona will be here. He lands at two o'clock. I feel like the lighting could be better in my office. All I have is this light here and a couple windows that are closed. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can do something about this. Okay, that's better. We've had a busy weekend. Obviously, you guys have seen all the fun, but today, it's all business. Um, a guy named Ed, super nice guy from Arizona, is coming down today. He's landing in Houston at two o'clock, getting a rental car, and driving two hours here to Orange, Texas to purchase our airplane. So, I haven't had time to get out there and make sure it's clean, make sure it's ready, make sure everything's good to go. <clears throat> the mechanic's already been taking a look at it, he said he found a problem today, something with a uh, fuel system. So, that has to get sent off, has to get repaired. We gotta get this plane out of here by the end of the week. We're not gonna have a hangar to put it in if we don't make this sale happen. So, I'm gonna head out to the airport, I'm gonna make sure everything's going smoothly, and I'll see you when we get back here. So I just want to pull over for a second on my way to the airport here and let you guys know that yesterday's video at the dinosaur exhibit was a huge success. It's getting thousands of views. Uh, I don't know how many it'll have by tomorrow, but I just started my vlog. This will be episode four. So I want to thank you guys for watching it. Thank you guys for having fun. Today is going to be a little bit more serious. I got an airplane to sell, but once again, make sure you subscribe because there's going to be lots of fun stuff, lots of cool stuff lots of interesting things for you guys to keep up with so make sure you hit that subscribe button at the end of the video there'll be a video coming out every day every day I'll post something whether it's going somewhere with the family something funny spoofing another video review of electronics building something remodeling who knows but you will get something from me every day so make sure you subscribe by the way in case you guys didn't know today at the Ford dealership in Orange, Texas. They're having a big sale. Probably not at the Ford where you're at. Only in Orange, Texas are they having a sale today. It's kind of like mattresses, right? Like cars are always on sale. You cannot find one car dealership that's like, nope, we're not having any sales today. You might want to wait to buy a car. Every day cars are on sale and every day mattresses are on sale. Who cares? King Air, so cool. This is Tom Foreman. He owns the FBO here, the fixed based operation. He sells all the fuel. Let's go see what Boudreaux's doing. Let me give you the, uh, <laughs> That's Mikey. What's up, Mikey? What's up, buddy? Say hi, this is Boudreau, the hi, best aircraft Boudreaux. mechanic in the world. Look, right there, that you guy. You must want some. <laughs> 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 yeah, I want to 
cheap final bill on this airplane. This is hangar 16. Let's open it up, you guys can see the plane. Um, I just talked to Ed on the phone. He's gonna be here in about 30 minutes, so I wanna try to straighten up my hangar a little bit, make sure it's all cleaned up, make sure the plane's wiped down before he gets here. Woo! This is a 1979 Uni 231. No one's in there. I'm gonna miss this thing. Yeah. Yeah. This is an eye level ADSB receiver. Eye level is the best. You can wire this thing in the plane, and then you have Bluetooth, weather, traffic maps everything you need right to your iPad wirelessly when you when you install one of these. Hello? Hello? Touch me all. Over? Or do you like the green better? These are David Clark's. These are the ones that they always use in the movies. See that? David Clark. They are real light like hospital green. If you watch any movie, anytime a pilot is shown, they're shown wearing a pair of these. They're iconic. If you guys are wondering how I get those uh, cool time-lapse photos where the clouds are moving real quick against the sky. There's some ways you can do it with your DSLR camera and with the phones these days, they do a great job. I have a little Gobi stand there for the phone and right now it's recording a time-lapse. Set it and forget it. Boudreaux said he found something wrong with the engine when he was doing an inspection for the pre-buy. It's called the spider valve. Well, the fuel comes up and goes through a device right there and splits off to all the injectors and that device was leaking. So that's not good. You don't want fuel leaking in an airplane. Ed showed up to look at the plane. There he is. Up on the plane, that's gonna be the new owner. And he showed up in this fancy rental car. I generally get something that looks like an egg when I get a rental car and he gets this infinity for $30 a day because he has a lot of points. 